And let's work out the solution for this. So we have f of x given by x squared plus one, g of x given by x plus one. So first is to find f plus g, which simply means f of x plus g of x. So we're going to say x squared plus one plus x plus one, which will be x squared plus x plus two. And then two, f minus g. So this simply means f of x minus g of x, which will be x squared plus one minus x plus one, which will be x squared plus x minus x minus one. And this will give us So this is one x squared minus x because the positive one and negative one cancels out. Next, number three, fg. This simply means f of x multiplied by g of x, which will be x squared plus one. Which will be x squared, x cubed, x squared, and then plus x plus one. for f over g. This simply means f of x over g of x, which will be x squared plus one divided by x plus one. Number five, f composite g. This by definition means f of g of x, which will be f of x plus one. And this will be the same as x plus one squared plus one, which is the same as x squared plus two x plus one plus one, which is x squared plus two x plus two. And then lastly, G composed with F means G of F of X, which is G of X squared plus one. This will be X squared plus one plus one which will be x squared plus two. So what is the remainder when x power 2018 minus 2018 is divided by x minus one? So we let P of x be given by x for 2018 
plus 2018. So the remainder when x minus one is divided by, is when x minus one divide p of x is p of one, i.e. p of one equals to one per 2018 plus 2018, which is one plus 2018, and this gives you 2019. So I guess using factor theorem. So this one is divide. Then next question, if H of X is given by two X plus three X cubed, uh, three cubed plus five in e over four into X, two X plus four power four, and H is given by G composed with F, find possible functions defining F and G. So we have H of X is given by G composed with F, which by definition is G of F of X. And this H of X is given by two X plus three power three plus five over four into two x plus four power four. So we have to find F and G such that that condition is true. So by definition of H of X, it means that F of, uh, by definition of H of X as G composed with F, means that f is the input function. So first possibility, we let or we fix f of x to be two x plus three. So when I fix f of x to be two x plus three, I remember this other part, two x plus four can be written as two x plus three, then plus one. So then this implies that g of x will be given by this part is exactly the same as two x plus three. So we'll have x cubed then plus five, which is a constant over four, but this can be written as this two X plus three plus one. So we'll have X plus one or four. And in this case, so H of X, is G composed with F. You can always confirm that, that if you say uh, G composed with F, F of X with these two functions, F and G, you get what I've been given here. Possibility two, if now I let f of x to be all these parts, 2x plus 4, then 
g of x will be, now if I have 2x plus 4, if I subtract 1, I get 2x plus 3. So putting this one as one main reference value, uh, g of x would be, so where this x plus 3, we write it as x minus 1 power 3 plus 5 over 4x power 4. So confirm that if you work out g composed with f, then this will give you exactly the same thing as this original page of facts.